Welcome, Serge. Obviously, uh, I think uh, what some of the boys have uh, noticed over the uh, over the summer months is you're actually looking pretty good and hitting the gym pretty regularly at the moment. And uh, just a, a word of uh, out of the out of the weights room is that you hold the bench press record um, and you've got all the boys covered. Uh, yeah, that's that's correct. Um, it's pretty it's pretty embarrassing for for them that a 35, nearly 36 year old. Our bench is anyone by at least 10 to 12 kilos. Um, but they're, they're chasing, you know, they've got, they got to strive to be where I'm at, um, which is good. So, um, no, it's good, it's been fun. Yeah, I've just uh, uh, trying to hit the gym a little bit more, just um, trying to get you in there, but that's not working. So, um, but yeah, no, just, uh, just getting ready for the year ahead, you know. It's, um, I feel like if the players uh, are committing themselves week in, week out, then... Uh, hopefully the coach can do some stuff as well. So and I know Pat's been doing a bit as well, and uh, he's looking a million dollars. So um, yeah, it's been good. It's been good. But I know the boys are chasing me. I think Elliot's the next best at about 120, and I've got him at I've got him by about 10 kilos. So um, and hopefully hopefully they can keep chasing me, which would be good. And then, uh, yeah, seeing your uh, bench press is strong. Also, your social media game is pretty strong. And uh, just seeing you just <laughs> gallivanting around Adelaide last night at Gauchos with a few of your old power mates. Yeah, that was um, that was just a random caught up with Dean Brogan. We were training at Thebiton on a Saturday morning, and he was um, he was helping the GWS women out because obviously they got thrown over in Adelaide whilst that little bit of COVID stuff was happening in Sydney. And um, they came over with no assistant coaches or anything like that. Only Alan McConnell, who's the senior coach of the women's program, and he asked Brogues to come out and um, and help out with training, and Brogues was there. And we had a chat. And he just said, "Oh, we got to catch up for dinner," and flicked out a text to him and Dom and a few of the blokes, and yeah, we caught up. And straight after training last night at Thebby, when we had a little uh, little game on, and um, thought I'd be there for maybe one or two hours, and end up staying till about twelve. And it was uh, it was a good night. It's always good when you catch up with you know your old teammates and you talk about how good you were and um, and all the good times and. Um, you know, Brogues, Brogues is very good at that, um, along with me. So um, Dom, Dom, Dom Cassis is a bit more humble, which is, uh, which is good. So, uh, But it, it was fun. It's always great to catch up with good people. And those guys have been my good mates for, well, 15, 15 16, 17 years now. So um, I'm really lucky to have uh, a really good bunch of blokes in my life who I can um, turn to in, in, in tough times and in good times. OK, we'll talk, talk quickly now about the football. Obviously, if you can just give us an update on pre-season and then quickly just summarise the uh, Eagles trial we had uh, a week ago. Yeah, pre-season's been really good. So po post-Christmas, the guys only did five sessions. Um, after, obviously, the grand final, I challenged the guys to come back in really good condition and good shape, which you'd have to say 95% of the group did. Um, you know, we had a lot of guys run PBs on that first night back. So um, we were meant to do, I think, six or seven sessions but um, we called training uh, we called training off early um, and only gave them five and they had a three and a half week um, break over over Christmas and um, after that the the challenge was to come back in good condition again so we can not do any extra running on the weekends and just go straight into football so um, a lot of the guys smashed their 2k time trial PBs by a significant amount so uh, for me as a coach, you know, to have trust in the players that they're going to rock up in really good condition to compete again for a, for an opportunity to play in the grand final was really satisfying. And um, basically from that first week back in January when we came back, we were straight into footy on a Saturday. And I think the, the players really appreciated that. And um, as we all know, they're not athletes. And, um, you know, we wanted to get out there and just start kicking the footies and, and start getting our game plan because we have changed a fair bit from this year, which hopefully you'll see. And, um, yeah, we wanted to sort of get into that straight away, which was really good for us. And um, we obviously had a little trial game against the Eagles last week, which was probably a tale of two halves. I let Darren Reeves coach the first half and uh, the Eagles probably dominated <laughs> dominated the uh, first half. And then I took over and we kicked about six goals, 10 in that second half. Now, Reeve coached the whole game and he did a great job. Um, it, like I said, it was a tale of two halves. The Eagles dominated the first half and then we basically dominated the second half. And... Um, we had about 11, 12 of our, our guys out who will probably be in our starting 22 come um, Central's round one. So um, really exciting um, really exciting opportunity for Mac Bowman and a few of these guys who've had really strong pre-seasons to hopefully throw their name up for round one selection. So uh, for me as a coach to see the, some of the guys who um, probably on the fringe of playing league football, get an opportunity to play against real quality team was really exciting for me. So, um, But now we're getting down to the nitty-gritty. I'm looking forward to uh, getting stuck into Glenelg and Westies in the next few weeks.
And just recently, you got uh, named in the uh, in the coaching group for the uh, state uh, game this year. So congratulations on that. It's your second second uh, second hat in that that space. Uh, how have you uh, caught up with Jade and Jared and Brent Riley? Yeah, we had, we had a little photo shoot the other week, and we just started planning and putting some ideas together about what we wanted to do. Um, obviously, I, play, I helped Curry a couple of years ago when we played over in Perth. Um, we obviously we sort of know what the the waffle style of game is like. It's a very outside running game where our game's a little bit more contested and bigger bodies over the ball. So um, we we threw some names together that we thought that will in the squad that will help us obviously get over the line again this year. And uh, for me, it's more about going there, and learning, and um, meeting some guys, meeting the coaches, trying to see what their strengths and weaknesses weaknesses are. Because I'd like to think that probably South and um, Woodville will be there at the pointy end again. So if I have a, can have a little advantage on what I think they might be doing, then that's going to help us win. And just build some good relationships with the best players from other clubs. That's yeah, well yeah, done, I think Serge. The, the Kumi's got a couple of mates over there who play Woodville, so we'll try to sneak a couple of them over in the next 12 months, maybe. And just on the uh, on the games uh, coming up, we've got, uh, as you said, we've got Glenelg and West in the next two weeks on a Friday night. Uh, what's your um, thoughts on how we're going to attack those games? Yeah, so the... Definitely the one coming up against Glen Elk next week on Friday night. We're going to pick a squad of 24. And um, basically it's going to be our best 24. Um, want to get the guys playing. And a lot of the guys have been playing together and they understand their games and how we want to move the ball in offence and how we want to play in defence. So um, I think it's just really important that we start gelling together as a team. Um, so we'll look at that. And then potentially the following week against Westies, could be the 22 or 23. So um, it's getting really tight for spots now. I'm really proud of where the squad is at. They've had an awesome pre-season. They're in great condition. I think we're, um, I think we're in a lot better shape this time this year than we were last year. Um, you know, I usually have Alex Spina. He either calls me or I call him on the way home, and we talk about training and what it looked like and how it was, and the confidence that he fills me with about where we are compared to last year makes me feel really good about this season. And uh, probably just for the, the people here tonight who want to have a look at the auction, and um, just give us a, uh, a few tips on the track burners over the pre-season and who, you, who you've liked and what, and what you've seen. Yeah, well, you can't go past the McGarry Medalist. Um, he's, uh, he looks like he's dropped about three or four kilos. He's got a bit of a chip on his shoulder, I reckon. And um, he, uh, he's been outstanding, along with Frank Zakelli. Again, he's... Uh, his running has just been outstanding. He's taking his game to the next level. And we're actually trying to develop his game further. Um, but it's it's not one or two individuals that have pressed me. It's been the whole squad. Like the whole squad has come back hungry, um, ready to right the wrongs of one game last year. But we understand that you know the one game that we lost doesn't define us as a football club. And you know I challenged them to come back hungry, and they've done that. And I'm sure they'll prove that on the field this year.